Hey guys, today we are in Golf uh, Mark 7. Over here I have a loss of pressure detected as well as on the infotainment system. And in few minutes I will show you how to make sure that this uh, goes away. This car is equipped with uh, passive uh, tire pressure monitoring system, so there is no sensors inside the wheel. It relies only on the ABS data which counts how fast wheels are spinning and if uh, one of the wheel is uh, um, uh, is with low pressure then it must be spinning uh, faster to travel the same distance as the rest of the wheels so based on that and uh, based on that the uh, system can tell if there's a um, pressure loss in one of the wheels so right now what we are going to do is check the pressure and once it's uh, checked we will go over here and we will set, we, have, we need to manually set, uh, tell the system that the pressure is correct right now. And after that, we will do some test drive. System will, uh, will learn how the um, uh, wheels should behave if, this, uh, if the pressure is correct. And based on that information later on, if the system detects that uh, one of the wheels is uh, behaving in a different way, it will um, once again show us uh, this warning message. In most cars, when you open driver's door, there's a sticker that says what's the correct pressure for different variants. So check this and then check your tire pressure. And now, when it's done, you can start your engine. The warning is still here because we need to reset the system. You might have a dedicated button right here or, or here, but if not, then we can go here, press set, and we need uh, we just need to confirm that the pressure is correct. Warning disappears, and right now let's test drive it. Okay, there's there are no entries available. There's no warning over here when I go to vehicle vehicle status. So uh, don't uh, don't look at the check engine. It's a glow plug that I need to replace. Uh, so I think that uh, that it worked. It's simple as that. Just make sure that the pressure is correct. And uh, if uh, there's a puncture in your tire, then of course you need to fix it or, or replace it. Once you are sure that the pressure is correct, just press the set button on the infotainment or the dedicated button on the center console if you have one. And uh, take a car for a quick spin and it should be it should be fine from now. Okay, give me a thumbs up if you like this tutorial and uh, see you soon in future videos.